Alright, Shalom Ram, Yashaala. Back with another GMS on the go. This is the Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Before we go any further, we'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakarkwadash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach us this truth according to the Bible, and who rule well. And a double Shalom to all the Sisei throughout the four corners of the earth pushing this truth and righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. And me and the brother was able to get up today and we're just gonna go into a lesson and it's gonna be a quick hit on on Isaiah nine to five. Okay, in this book Isaiah chapter nine verse five, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. Right. It said for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. And what's that talking about? That's talking about your ancient wars. You see, because that's how your ancient wars are fought. It was fought with confused noise. You see, because you would have one group of people on one side, and you would have another group of people on another side, and they would have swords in their hands. And next thing you know, they would take off running to each other, screaming, yelling, it's like yelling, hollering. You see, and as soon as they get to each other, the swords would be flying. You see, they would be swinging them. Swords hitting each other, clean, 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 you know, making a lot of noise. Mm-hmm. You got those different war cries, you know. Mm -hmm. People scream before they start running off, you know. Mm -hmm. That's how ancient wars were fought. God. This is um Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. Right. And then you also have the swords hitting the shields. You see, my other person trying to avoid getting cut or stabbed. Read on. Mm. That definition of confused uh, noise go to earthquake, quaking, trembling, shaking. You know, when you got all of those people running, you know, it's, it's like an earthquake. You know, you got tens of hundreds of thousands of men on both sides running to each other. That's a lot of noise right there, you know? Kind of. And it reads, and garments rolled in blood. Right, and garments rolled in blood. Because after the war was over and people were, you know, stabbed up, you know, and killed, you know, laying on the ground dead, they're their, their, their garments, you see their body would be covered in blood. You see it'd be good, it'd be blood all over the place, all on the ground and so forth on. Mm-hmm. It was like if there's a puddle of blood on the floor, you just roll something right on through the puddle of blood, you know? Mm -hmm. Just like in these ancient movies like Troy, they got Gladiator, you know? Mm -hmm. They always have a lot of blood on them, you know? Yep. And garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Right. So, like we said, we are, so like, like the scripture said, the ancient wars were fought with confused noise. But this war that's coming up, this is going to be fought with burning fuels of fire. And what's going to make those burning fuels of fire? Drop that. Let me get Revelations 11 and 14. Mm-hmm. Okay, this book of Revelations, you know, this World War Three, which mm -hmm. this is going to break it down. This Revelation chapter 3, uh, chapter 11, verse 14. Mm -hmm. The second woe is past. Right, and woe means death and destruction. And what's that second woe, that second death and destruction that has already passed? That's talking about World War Two. That's one of your former prophecies that have already come to pass. And the, behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Right, and again, woe means death and destruction. And what's that third death and destruction that's coming quickly? That's talking about World War Three. You see, so World War Three is going to be fought with burning fuels of fire. And what's going to make those burning fuels of fire? Those 200 ICB, those 200 um, ICB missiles coming from Russia, China, Syria, North Korea, and so forth on to destroy this place, America, to a crisp. You see, so that's that's what's going to make those burning fuels of fire. World War Three. Sorry, uh, give me one second. I'll hear this. Try. See if I got a quick pre up. Thanks. Like, yeah. Speak real quick. You see, so, like we said when we first opened up the, um, the lesson, your, your, your ancient wars were fought with confused noise. That's how your ancient wars were fought. But this war will be fought with thermonuclear missiles c c um, coming from World War Three. That's going to happen over there in the Middle East. Mmm. Where it said that the Lord shall bend his arrows. Um, I can't find this lock yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Let me break out the shields. Nah, that's a good one too. I'm looking for this one. You want to search it real quick? Nah, I get the one to Isaiah. That's the one the Lord wanted me to get anyway. This is book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 16. 
Behold, I have created the smith that blow up the coals in the fire. You know, and the smith, you know, back in the ancient times, you know, because the Lord always makes, a, a, you know, he makes comparisons of things that were done in the ancient times. You know, a smith, talking about a blacksmith, a, a, one, a person who makes weapons, you know. But this myth is the modern day Smith is talking about the scientists, you know. It says that blow up the coals in the fire, you know, and that bring it forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. Yes, yeah, so the Lord has put the spirit on these scientists to be able to able to split the nuclear the nucleus um atom the nuclear um to create the uh, nuclear a thermonuclear bomb pretty much, you know? Okay. And it's all through the spirit and by Shema Shai. Because these are the weapons of the Lord's indignation, you know. This is what the Lord has set up to destroy uh, Babylon the Great in this World War Three, like the boy was going into, you know. That will be shot out from all these heathen nations. Come on, you got any more priests you can bring out? That's it. Come on, you know. You're, oh, you can go ahead and close this out. So, kind. So, uh, with that, I hope you've been edified. It's been another GMS on the go. This is the Rosa North Carolina camp. Before we go any further. We like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yeah, how by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar Kodash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and teaching us this truth according to the Bible. And a double shalom to all the sincere Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in righteousness and sincerity to the best of ability. Shalom. So just real quick. Oh, it's like it. No, you could, you could. So just remember that missiles will destroy this place called America. So now with that, shalom. Shalom, brothers. Peace.